Hello everyone and welcome back to Cavery Gaming with us today. We are returning to Little Nightmares with this being part three in our playthrough series. So, in the last episode we fought past the janitor, cutting his arms off in the end, and we encountered the two chef twins. Um, beyond that, we just got incredibly frustrated. It was definitely, um, from my point of view, an episode to forget that one. I've never been so frustrated in all my life with the janitor. So I'm hoping that's not a sign of things to come. Oh, am I am I doing my own meat grinding? Oh, I'm making sausages. I'm making sausages. It's not creepy at all. Oh, right, okay, so... Oh, hold on. Okay, so apparently I could climb into that then. Okay, so I've got to put meat on that trap door, I'm guessing. More bodies. And another one of those dolls. Don't know what it's for, but okay. That. Right, let's have a look. Meat, 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 meat. Hmm. Well, there's definitely some meat there. Swing, swing, swing. Quick. Hey! Okay. Let's go. Right. Now the question is, is that going to be long enough or not? Yeah, come on. Yep. Yeah. No. God damn it. Yeah, there it is there. Oh, it's just going to be that kind of episode, I think. Oh, come on. Yeah, but I'll get on the, get on the, there we go. Yep. Down we go. Right, do we reckon that's got to be long enough? There's no more meat in that room, so. There we go, right. Well done, we made it through the first room on this episode. Whoop, whoop. Temporarily decided I don't want to crouch. Okay, that was a quite a straightforward route. Okay, so we're after another key. Whoa, no, no, no. Hi, Chef. Aha, aha, I am smarter than you. Alright, so clearly, I need something to push that button now. Oh, no. Oh, no.
Uh, okay, so the chef followed me up, so I was supposed to hide. I must say the design of these characters is fantastic. So disgusting. I don't notice the little yellow head sticking out of the, the wall there. Lovely. Ah, oh, okay. The key's on the table. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. You okay? What are you going to do with me? Chop me up and put me in a stew again, probably. Right. Right, so I'm wondering if... I wonder if I do go behind him. I hope he's washed his hands before dealing with that meat. Hoi, please go away. So apparently all they do is eat sausages here. Okay, so we made it through to here, so I'm guessing I need to make a loud noise. I'm guessing it's this. Ooh, that was close. I have the key. Ah, oh, what a what a legend this six is. And I bet he's gonna call the lift up. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Guess we hide again. The chef's gonna follow me. Yep, here he comes. Okay. My question is, do we follow him? I think I'm too short to follow him. Into the garbage chute, fly boy. It's a plunger. I want the plunger. So there'll be a way somewhere to climb the wall. That's not got a pipe. There we go. There it is. God, I imagine the amount of blood that must go through this drain system to be quite high. Okay, we're now in the kitchen. It's good to see that there is some degree of sanitation going on. No, oh, I'm expecting about to the drain. Damn. Right, so I just need to be a bit more patient to wait and see what the chef does, I think. Can we go further along? Ah, both of them are there. I don't particularly want to... Um... Yeah, I don't particularly want to pop up in front of them both. I have a feeling I'd get spotted straight away. Right, so if I go under here, I think one of them moves. Yep, here we go. If 
close. I don't know where the other one's gone though. That's the issue now. Where has the other one gone? This guy is back to me still, which is good. There's a load of broken stuff on the floor there. Sneaky, sneaky lemon squeezy. Don't go on the broken glass. Don't spot me, please don't spot me. Okay, so I've started the meat hook machine now. So I just need to find a way up. Right, I think it's too high for me to jump up and get the plates, so... Good grief. Lucky I didn't stay in the middle of the table. Oh, come off it. They tag teamed me. Hey, I can. Alright, okay. I have to work my way all across one room. Oh, no. Okay. Don't look up. Must be intentional that they spotted me. Oh, I've got a drop. Oh, come off it. Okay, I've got to run and get on those hooks this time. Right. Oh, oh close. So close. Right, we're finally starting to make some progress. We're getting there. 
We're getting there slowly. I don't know why my mouse has just reappeared. There it goes. Massive chains once again, reinforcing the fact we are on board the ship called the Moor. The ship of lost souls. Why would there just be a random ladder? More to the point, why would it be a ladder that is my size? Because clearly everything on board this ship is a bit bigger than me. Whoa! Outside. That's what a heck of a climb we're doing. I wonder if um, all these people coming on board are coming to have a feast of a feast of souls, a feast of dead children. There was definitely a lot of food prep going on. Oh, they all look like very strange old men. Plug. There's some very heavy footsteps coming from somewhere. Oh. God, they are really creepy people. We're not supposed to fall. That would be bad. Torn to shreds by a load of old men. Go up through the crack. There we go. Definitely appear to be eating something. I think it's mostly fish. I don't think they're actually eating. Oh wow, they are. They're eating a lot of steaks. Oh, they're eating it raw. It's gotta be fish then. I don't think you could eat. <coughs> the heck are being followed by a very crazy guy. Ugh. Still coming. Please tell me I'm not supposed to climb onto the table right in front of them and up those plates. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Push the wrong button. Oh, no! ah. Ah. Damn you button clicking. So hopefully we have put those creepy chefs behind us. Oh, go, go. oh wow, he actually caught me this. Oh wow, he ate me. He ate me. Wow, okay. The heck? <laughs> just got just got absolutely sideswiped by a table. Right, because we knew what was gonna happen, I just pre-sprinted. Preemptively sprint. If that's even a word. Aha! Oh, this is so Flipping crazy. Alright, keep hold of the click button. Keep hold of the click button. Whoop! Wow. Some proper messed up faces. I don't suppose I'm going to run the risk here because I have a feeling this will probably kill me. 
Okay, if I hop up onto the table... Don't grab that. Have a bolt. Right, I can't push that. No, uh, uh, no! Of course, I'm just guessing that I run along this table. Go past all the crazy people. Yeah, you go back to your eating. Don't mind the little rain-coated person that's just right in front of you. Okay, why would there be food like that? Yum. Okay, have a look, have a look, have a look. Okay, we hop over. Keep running away from the slug people! Wow, this game has suddenly become a lot more fast paced. Why'd you get why'd you get stuck? I'm trying to look to see if there's anywhere I can sort of climb up. Because clearly Unless you're supposed to get him stuck there. Okay, that makes sense. Yuff. Squeeze through those? Yes, I can. Oh, no, no, no. The chefs are back. I hope he's not about to go to the toilet when I'm stuck in here. That'd be a very weird twist to the game. Clearly came in here for a reason. I wonder if it's supposed to smash the mirror. I mean, that is seven years bad luck. I'm surprised that didn't kill me, considering I got killed by a table before. Oh, thank you for shifting. I did wonder what was going to happen with the camera then as I was climbing up. Very strangely designed ship, I must say. Again, I'm guessing this is where I'm supposed to be going. It does appear to take me onwards. Is that a gap in there? Is that Munchkin? Give that Munchkin a hug. I wonder why he's wearing like that kind of mask. Right, okay, I think that was purely to get that munchkin collectible. Oh no. The attack of the slug people. There's a lot 
the slug people? Holy moly. I got tired. What? Since when do I run out of stamina? So what have I got to do somehow? Yep. Hold a little break for a second. Right, sprint again. Right, walk for a bit, walk for a bit. Oh, there's a gap there. There's a gap there. That was an intense section of the game. Oh, getting hungry again. Poor. Poor six. Oh, I wonder if that's a, a picture of the ship in the background. Because it did have that sort of shape that the, uh, the people were walking through. That section of running game, did, I, I did quite like that, that at no point in this game has it introduced the idea of stamina, that all of a sudden you're in this massive chase and you're just like, oh no, I'm tired now. Oh, thank you, munchkin. Thank you for the sausage. It's better than the rat I ate before. Give it to me then. Give. <gasps> Kind of, he was giving you a sausage. You ate his face off. That was that tall lady from the very beginning of the game. Right, this is a perfect place to leave it before anything else happens. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching. That was Cavering Gaming with Little Nightmares, uh, this playthrough part three. Um, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please drop me a like or subscribe, and don't forget to tap the little notification icon so that you're kept up to date with when new episodes drop. Really enjoy that. It's a nice change of pace to the game. Um, again, each of these episodes seems to be... It does seem to that the game just evolves as it's going along. So, no, really enjoyed that last episode, and uh, hopefully you did too. So, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.